is there a little tidbit, a little story, a little something the world doesn't know about you as I, as I mentioned to you a few seconds ago? Yeah, and Felix, thank you for having me on. I'm really excited to, to jump in. Um, yeah, I think for me, uh, something that no one knows about really, um, and it stems from my family. So my parents were born or ra and raised on a farm in Southern Italy, like no running water, no electricity. They were crop sharing crops, like selling crops for trade, not for profit, right? If you were sick, you'd get some eggs. The you give the doctor some eggs, right? <clears throat> so I'm turning more and more into my father every, every, with new, every new gray hair. And so I have chickens and when they get older, I just recently learned that, you know, you have to take care of them. You have to kill them and uh, to eat them because you don't want to just let it go to waste. That's not really honoring the animal. Right. Right. So when the eggs don't, you know, aren't happening and aren't producing anymore, then you have to slaughter the animal and you eat it and it's delicious. So you've and become a chicken killer. I'm, a, I'm killing chickens left <laughs> and right, brother. And you know what I found out that I didn't know is that the chickens that are just um, in the grocery store, even Whole Foods, organic, free range, all that kind of stuff, not even close to being what a real chicken tastes like or even looks like on the meat. Wow. So all that chicken we're all eating, it's completely fake. Wait, now I'm fascinated because I'm a big chicken eater myself. So what is yeah. this chicken so a what does this chicken a look like and b <laughs> taste like? Not like chicken. If I blindfolded you, you'd have no idea this thing was chicken. Wait, so okay, but try to like entice me. Like, tell me a little, describe it <laughs> so, a little to me. First of all, the the way it looks, the meat is all brown meat. It's like, you know how there's dark meat on yeah. birds, on chicken? Yeah. It's like that everywhere, but even, but much darker. <clears throat> so the look of the flesh itself is completely different. And then the texture, it's, it's, it's definitely more tough because it's, you know, real, not just in a pen. Um, <clears throat> and the taste, uh, it, I don't even know what it, to compare it to because I've never had it, <laughs> anything else like this, but it tastes way better. It's just- wow. Yeah. And Wait. so now I stop eating chicken at the store because I know I see the comparison. It's not the same. So, um, so this is your, so this is a hundred percent better. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, it's totally natural. Is it like, as real, like chewy? Is it as, it's um, a, it's kind of like chewy as in like a, 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 a little less chewy than duck. Okay. Oh yeah. wow. So it's like, more, it's definitely, but it's, so it's more <laughs> chewy because Chicken is a little bit more, uh, I don't want to say stale, but like harder than more meat, other meats. Yeah. 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 Wow. So yeah, wait, so, so, to... so how long, so how I'm long have you had these some... chickens? <laughs> I've had them for years. Uh, like na I got names like KFC sensei. Cause they, you know, <laughs> wait, so how, how many do you have at a time? Right now, I like four left. <laughs> the rest are just dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah some casualties wow so so how many chickens have you killed over the past couple years oh uh like five. Oh, so is it like a really sad day when you have the like the chicken death day <laughs> uh it gets uh it's not sad because i grew up with I've seen that side of the world. Okay. Like I grew up having chickens and rabbits, but they were my pets. And then one day uh. one would disappear <laughs> one week, one would disappear. And then they told me and I was like, Oh, and I, and I saw it. So for me, it's, it's different. Uh, they weren't pets, but yeah, you, you know, you want to be ceremonious about it and you give thanks. And right. You honor so just so people are things. clear, you're, you're, they have great lives up until the day they don't, but you oh, treat them. I mean, you, I'm sure that like they're living good, but then oh, yeah. might I, <laughs> might I ask you not to get too gruesome. So what is the, me cause I'm really not familiar. What is the methodology in which you personally go about killing your chickens? <clears throat> okay. So the most humane way, and they live wonderfully, by the way. Yes. Like, like I'm, I imagine. Mansion, they got uh, solar power. That's why they them. taste so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all for selfish yeah. reasons. At the end of the day, we have to be honest. It's all natural. They're just, they're really natural. A hundred percent. The most humane way to kill it is you, you take a, a chicken, you, you know, you grab it and you uh, wrap a towel around it. So it doesn't fl <laughs> flap around <clears throat> the wings. <clears throat> you turn it upside down. And then with their small brains, they go into this catatonic state, like a shark. Uh, you turn wow. Turn them over. You flip them over and they start kind of getting half asleep, right? They don't know. They're just dreaming, sleeping, awake. And then you start kind of like petting them, 
uh, to get them used to your touch. Wow. And then you take while well, you have the long kitchen shears, like uh, scissors, and then you just open up their mouth and they open up for you because they're like half asleep. And then you just quickly <clears throat> open and close, you put it in the back of their throat, you, you cut their neck and their spinal cord. This is um, the most humane way? This is the most humane way because they stay asleep. Okay. They're just still like, they don't. They're just so like it's for them, it's less of the pain. It's just, do you don't feel like a little bit of a psychopath when you're doing that? Oh, I'm totally a psychopath. Okay, good. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're on the yeah, same page. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I like, I go spear fishing for, I don't eat fish now that I get at the store. I get it in the, from the water. I go free diving and spear fishing, get wow. it every weekend. I just want to be more sustainable. And I want to do things the better way. I think you should know your food. Right. And I think getting it in plastic at a store is crazy now from what I've seen and experienced. So, so you're part-time CEO, part-time murderer. Um, yeah, which is kind of the same thing. Really. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Felix.Levine. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.